And with this next fight, Josh Priesen versus Jamal Pogues, it's a heavyweight fight. Pretty confident Jamal Pogues gets the job done in this one. I think Jamal Pogues, he's not the greatest fighter in the world, but for heavyweight perspective, he probably has the potential to get into the rankings at the bottom end. I feel like he has good boxing, good hand speed, nice jab, good uh, straight right hand. He, he'll throw in nice combinations when he can back you up or if you get too aggressive with him. And he can wrestle. He has good takedowns, good top control. One thing is I haven't really seen him wrestle at heavyweight with the extra weight on him. So I don't know if he's going to be able to hold up and wrestle. But he, we've seen him wrestle for uh, in heavyweight or in championship fights, five-round fights uh, at light heavyweight. And use a lot of his wrestling to dominate fights. And I think in this one, if he wants to wrestle Josh Parisian, that'll be a very easy thing for him to do. I think he could take him down pretty easily with the doubles. And uh, control him on top. Pogues isn't a world beater from the top position. But he could control that position. And uh, grind guys out. And Josh Parisian. He's um, someone that I think it's 100% out of his capabilities. But he's just not the greatest athlete. He's uh, heavyweight with, with limited power. He does have good kick dexterity for a big guy. Like he'll throw a lot of decent kicks. And uh, some spins and things like that. He has diverse striking. And he's high volume. He is willing to put it all out there and go for 100%, get exhausted to win a fight, which you don't see a lot of fighters do, which is something that's why I think he gets the maximum out of his capabilities. But if you're a heavyweight, you don't have power, You can get he gets kind of sloppy and he does get tired. And his wrestling isn't good either. He, I just think it's not a great recipe to survive in the UFC long term. He's been able to out cardio a couple guys, out volume them, and get sloppy decision wins. But with Jamal Pogues, even on the feet, I think Pogues is too polished, too technical with the boxing. Keep shot straight down the middle, nice jab. I think he's going to be able to win with the basics against Parisian's kind of kinetic, diverse striking. And I think that he can hit the takedowns if he wants to at ease and get him down. Pogues, last fight he came back from a long layoff. And maybe, hopefully he, you know, dusted some rust off and now he's ready to come in here and use the wrestling, use his full skill set and look good here. So I, I could see Pose getting a finish on the ground if he comes in here and looks 100%. If he looks like he did in his last fight where he just wants to keep it standing, then I think he could win that way too. So I'm going to say Jamal Pose gets it down to the ground at one point in this fight and gets a finish via TKO. So I'm going to go with Jamal Pogues via TKO in round two or round three.